we go. We're here for our third and final stage of this. Um, I would probably do another stage if I were going to do a... Sorry, I didn't want to punch in my code in front of that. Um, if I were going to do a finished portrait, but we're not. So, um, what we're going to start to do, we've got the lights, we've got the shadows, we're going to start to find those values kind of in between. I'm going to switch to a new brush just so that I have that. The one other thing I am going to do that I don't always normally do, but I think is not a bad recommendation, is I'm going to put a little bit of um, burnt umber on here. So you'll notice right away that that is just a little bit darker than the other, um, let's grab that oil, than the burnt sienna. And that's just so I can get some darker darks. I'll probably not use this until we start to get some of those middle values. So if I want to start to find some of those values in between, what if I use some of this, right? Get some of my kind of neutral mixture, grab a little bit of that brown, and, you know, mix up something in between those two. So my canvas is my palette at this point. But over here, instead of having such a scratchy color, what if I start to put this in here? How does that change how this looks? And it just feels more solid. So that's kind of what I'm going for is finding some values, some colors, some of this that kind of maybe just flows a little bit more. And then we can use the dark dark to kind of do some finishing details. So I'm looking for those values around here where it's kind of somewhere in between. Even if I just do one step in between, this, this portrait all of a sudden gets a lot more kind of filled in. Feels a little bit more solid. Not so scratchy and sketchy. It's kind of that next step to try and pull from, you pull away from the, the simple version of it into something that's maybe more, slightly more refined. Let's not say refined because don't want to put too much pressure on myself there. And I can go back and forth between light, shadow, um, half tone, if this is my half tone. And if I go too far with one, I can always kind of bring it back. So if I go like this and I start to blend this in, and I don't like how that looks, and I don't, I want to put some more light back into that. That's all. This is going to help that cheek feel a little bit more finished. Get rid of those sideburns. I don't like the sideburns that we put on that. Not on purpose, but it happened. Inside of that a little bit. Maybe even over there a little bit. Outside can get more light. I think I cut that short a little bit. And so these are things you start to notice as you start to kind of build it up make it a little bit more solid and kind of find things that can change a little bit.
definitely a good zone for this down in here. Kind of scrub it in a little bit. Try to get a little bit more of this color. Let's get some white, some more of this brown. See how it just really quickly is evening out a lot of my painting. We're just building it up, trying to get this to kind of come together for the most part. And at the end, I might put in the necklace and I might, you know, put some detail on the earring and stuff like that. But at the beginning, I don't think I really want to do that too much. paint, some more of this paint. And some of this is softening things up, but that's okay. We're going through and doing some of that, probably some of this. You know, the hair before the braids gets pretty thin we can keep it and get some of that skin tone in there. All right, I like that for the most part. What I might do is go back and grab my light brush and start to pull some of those back out. So if I take a white with a little bit of the green in it, keep it on the kind of more neutral side, this part's bothering me. I think I want this zone to be a little bit almost like wider like this. And that kind of fades up and off right in there. And then this is gonna come down that whole area just above the eye. There we go. Just a little more full in there. Catching a little more light. Don't wanna change this at all. Maybe just a little more light. Just a little farther out there. Maybe I'll make this a little bit lighter in here. a little more white. This can come back out again. Got a little too muddy there. Just past that corner of the mouth. Get a little bit of a light because that muscle pops it out just a little bit.
Here we go. A little more in here. I can see this coming and wrapping right around that corner. Just want to get that. Portraits are difficult. They're not easy to paint. So the idea for this is getting some experience under your belt. So if this is the one you choose, you'll feel maybe a little bit more confident having a, a process or a style that is a little bit maybe easier to go with compared to um just going straight and just trying to like guess at what you're supposed to be doing. Putting some white in there and then I'm blending it out, kind of building it up. And now look at how cool this side looks compared to the other side. Like we're, it's working um, just by using more white and more kind of the cools on one side and more of the warms on the other side. There we go. Lighten this just a little bit right in here. going to double check some of these. I think I want to just make them a little bit whiter and brighter in a couple spots. Just so they stand out just a little bit more. All right, I think I'm happy with that side. Let's just take a real quick look at the warm side. Get some yellow, get some white. Any spots that really need to get hit one more time. It's a little more warmth, a little more orange. really push that warm versus the uh, cooler side. All right, I think we've got the warm, cool, the lights. We have one last thing and that's jumping in with some of the dark brown. And let's put in some accents. 
So now I'm going to think about the actual details. So I'm looking at the eye. If you know that I like to do the eye in three movements, um, up, across, and down. So the across, somewhere in there, and that's where the iris is sitting. And we have a nice thicker down spot there. Here's the down on the out. Could even try to give it a little eyelash there. This is something I would go through and do a lot more later, but we're just trying to do the, the sketch portrait. Make that just a little bit deeper there. Break up the eyebrow into a couple darker parts there. And just a little bit darker in and underneath there. The edge of the nose, this is definitely a spot where I want to push this a little bit. Get the opening. And try to get them set up in the right spot, be the right size. Definitely like a darker moment right above that. Now let's go over there. You know, a little bit down here that turns under. So we get a couple cooler or darker spots. Middle here. And as it tucks under the bottom. A lot of this over here is really dark. Next to that slight little highlight. And this is going to sink in. These are all very earthy colors, so they're not going to stay super bright forever. Um, they're going to sink in to the canvas. And at that point, I can come back and hit them again with some glaze. Get some of those eyelashes flaring out there. Try to make this. I'm, I'm always trying to make because you start to kind of paint yourself and how you look into every face that you see. Um, not on purpose, but you see your face the most. I'm always trying to keep it a little bit more feminine. I'm definitely have a tendency to add a little more masculinity to the portraits that I paint but not by choice. I want to definitely hit that outside corner. It's going up like that. Very dark. Pick a paint. I can kind of pour it down and over. A corner out here. It's just a little darker in here. Just trim that up. Same thing over here. I think I went too far out. And see how this is just giving me a little bit more um, punch to my shadows and kind of depth to my picture. So that's like why you would maybe come in at the end and add this slightly darker tone. Oh, 
almost there. We're getting real close. I just want to double check. This is maybe a little bit bigger and wider and softer on this side. Punch in a couple of these darker shadows inside the ear. Give it a little more form that way. Do a little bit on this outside edge. I think this is just about it. Let me just fade this a little bit right there. You can tell already that I went a little bit longer than I wanted to, but we've got this set up. I think that's about it. So that's the end of part three. We filled in the lights. We kind of did the in-betweens and then we punched in some accents. So I'll take a picture and this will be all done. So thanks for tuning in and hopefully this. Click to subscribe or see more videos. Thank you.